Dear learners, I welcome you all to this online teaching session. Today we will discuss about calibration of HPTLC system that is calibration of high performance thin layer chromatograph. Before discussing the parameters, let us know what are the steps involved in HPTLC studies. The first standard and sample uh, will be prepared using appropriate solvents and both standard and sample solution will be filtered using appropriate filter. Then there will be a selection of chromatographic layer. Here chromatographic layer means stationary phase and stationary phase will be ready-made HPTLC plates. Then these plates will be pre-washed and there will be a pre-conditioning of this chromatographic layer. After that, the sample and standard will be applied on the chromatographic layer or HPTLC plate using uh, applicator. Once the application is over, the plates will be developed using twin trough chamber and using appropriate mobile phase. And after the development, there will be a detection of spot, scanning of plates using a scanner. This table 1 depicts calibration parameter for HPTLC system. Uh, for sample applicator, the parameter evaluated is reproducibility of sample applicator. And for scanner, uh, the parameters evaluated are reproducibility of, scan uh, of scanner and linearity of scanner for both UV light and fluorescence light. Let us know or let us discuss uh, parameters one by one. First is reproducibility of sample applicator. For that you require 100 ml volumetric flask, caffeine standard, calibrated weighing balance, then methanol. Methanol will be used as a solvent for preparation of sample of caffeine, then sample filter and uh, then you require HPTLC plate and toluene and acetone, these two solvents are used as a mobile phase for development of HPTLC plate. So first we will see how standard solution is prepared. For that you have to weigh and transfer 5 mg of caffeine into 100 ml volumetric flask and you have to dissolve and dilute the sample up to the mark with methanol to get 50 ppm solution of caffeine. This sample you have to uh, uh, apply with the help of applicator on HPTLC plate. So what will be chromatographic condition for development or uh, for what will be the chromatographic condition? The stationary phase is silica gel 60F254 plate, mobile phase as I told toluene acetone in the ratio of 16 is to 4. The sample volume applied will be 5 microliter. The development distance of this plate will be 60 mm. Scan wavelength means the developed plate will be scanned at 276 nanometer and measurement word will be absorbance reflection. So what you have to do? This 50 ppm uh, solution of caffeine will be applied in the form of different bands. The volume applied for each band will be 5 microliter and once the application is done, you have to develop the plate using this mobile phase and after development the plate will be Scan means all these six tracks will be scanned and area for each track will be measured. What is the acceptance criteria? Percentage RSD should of the area for all these six tracks should not be more than 2%. Next parameter is reproducibility of scanner. You can use same plate as above test. What you have to do? You, can, you have to scan any one track for 12 times under the same conditions and 
measure the area and calculate the percentage RSD. Here in the diagram I have shown that this track number 3 will be scanned or it is scanned 12 times. So you will get 12 values for area for the same track and you have to find out percentage RSD of those 12 values. It should not be more than 2%. Next is linearity of scanner. For UV light, we will discuss first. For that, the requirement is 100 ml volumetric flask, caffeine standard, calibrated weighing balance, methanol for preparation of caffeine solution, sample filter, again toluene, acetone. Uh, these two solvents will be used. Uh, as a mobile phase and HPTLC plate. So again we have to prepare 50 ppm solution of standard caffeine in methanol. So what is the procedure? From this 50 ppm solution apply 2 microliter, 3 microliter, 4 microliter. For 4 microliter you apply 3 tracks that is 3 bands then 5 microliter and 6 microliter. And uh, run the uh, plate under same uh, condition and scan the plate and find out the area for each these applied volumes. So you have to plot the calibration curve of area versus concentration. Now if you convert this volume uh, into amount of sample per band or per track uh, that will correspond to 100 nanogram, 150 nanogram, 200 nanogram, 250 nanogram and 300 nanogram per spot. Now what is the acceptance criteria? Percentage RSD should not be more than 2%. Now percentage RSD of these value means 4 microliter you have applied 3 times. So, for these three values, you have to find out percentage RSD and that value should not be more than 2% and rest value you have to use or you have to uh, uh, utilize for calculation of R square and R square should not be less than 0.99 means the uh, the, the graph should be linear means there should be linearity between concentration and area and R square should not be less than 0.99. Next is reproducibility of fluorescent scanner. For that you require 100 ml volumetric flask Rhodamine B, here Rhodamine B will be used instead of caffeine in case of fluorescent scanner. You require calibrated weighing balance, methanol for preparation of Rhodamine B solution, sample filter and uh, here the combination of methanol and chloroform will be used as a mobile phase and of course you require HPTLC plate for uh, spotting of or for application of sample. So, how standard solution or what standard solution you require? So, you require 500 nanogram per ml uh, um, solution of rhodamine B in methanol. Means the concentration of rhodamine B in methanol should be 500 nanogram per ml. Uh, let us see the chromatographic conditions. Stationary phase silica gel 60F 254 plate ready made plate will be used as a stationary phase. Mobile phase chloroform and methanol in the ratio of 16 is to 4. Sample volume applied on the chromatographic layer will be 5 microliter. Development distance will be 60 mm. The scanning wavelength as it is fluorescence, it will be 366 nanometer and major mo measurement mode will be fluorescence reflection. So, how the reproducibility uh, is uh, evaluated? You have to apply the 
track and you can scan that track or band 12 times means you can apply any concentration and you have to track uh, you have to scan that concentration 12 times and measure the area and calculate percentage rsd what is the acceptance criteria for this parameter percentage rsd should not be more than 2% next is linearity of fluorescence scanner again you require rhodamine b in methanol solution 500 nanogram per ml what is the procedure apply 2 microliter 3 microliter 4 microliter, uh, 5 microliter and 6 microliter of 500 nanogram per ml solution of rhodamine B in methanol on chromatographic plate using calibrated applicator. Again this 4 microliter you have to apply 3 times means there will be 3 tracks of this uh, uh, 4 microliter. After application run and scan the plate under identical condition and plot the calibration curve of area versus concentration what will be the concentration final concentration applied uh, of uh, rhodamine b on the plate track wise it will be 1 nanogram per spot 1.5 nanogram per spot 2 nanogram per spot 2.5 nanogram per spot and 3 nanogram per spot so, what is the acceptance criteria? Percentage RSD should not be more than 2%. Now, percentage RSD of three, these three spots, 4 microliter we have applied 3 times. These three values, for these three values, you have to find out percentage RSD and that RSD should not be more than 2% and rest values you have to use for calibration curve and R square should not be less than 0.99 means including this value you have to plot a calibration curve of this value versus area and this values we have to take for uh, plotting calibration curve uh, and uh, area we have to use the value of areas and R square should be determined. R square should not be less than 0.99. This is the reference which I have uh, used for preparation of this uh, presentation. I hope you, uh, you have gained some knowledge regarding calibration of HPTLC. Uh, have a good day and thanking, I am thanking you for uh, patiently listening to me. Thank you all.